Welcome, welcome, welcome to Wounded to Wonderful Radio. And today I am your host, Edna J. White. I am going to be speaking to you today on just your size, a prisoner in your own body. I've heard so many times from different clients, I wish I didn't have this body or a body or this stomach or this these legs or just these anything on on their parts of their body when I hear that from my clients I immediately understand for many years I was transported back to feeling like um, my body was against me for all the abuse that I received from people from all the negative or poisonous acts that was uh, committed against me not knowing that my body was a gift from God. Um, I used to cut out and even feel like I was really... Um, spent. I spent too much time outside of my body. What I mean by that is I would take showers on a daily basis, maybe three, four, and I would use literally sneak a Brillo pad into the bathroom and scrub until I was red and um, sometimes leaving scratches and over my entire body because I was not happy with what the feeling I was receiving from those that perpetrated me. So I felt that this body had to be changed in some way, had to be cut, had to be stripped of what it really was meant to be. So I spent so much time outside my body. Um, I'm reminded of times in my life when my inner voice was constantly screaming negatives like you're gross, you're too fat, nobody will ever want you. Those things rang true to my soul. And sometimes even today, I have to fight off the feelings that are related to those words. And so from that, I started battling issues with food. I would eat and not eat. Um, I would be uh, regimented um, on what I should eat and how I should eat it. And then just some days just giving up and eating whatever that came my way. I was tying my value and my worth to eating, to cleaning, to washing, to being. I had tied it all into that emotionally. And there was not one day that I can remember that this wasn't going on. Today, I want to share with you openly and in a real way what survivors of abuse often feel about their bodies. While I'm a woman who is sharing my experiences, there's no doubt that even males feel the same way. So I don't want to discount them uh, regarding this, their body image or the connection or disconnection issues. So every survivor experiences this and they go through these relationships with their body, relationship with their food, with their health, and that's okay. And it's a normal, understandable way, but it can change. It took me many years to get to that point. I remember um, being that way until about the age of 23, 24 years old, even to the point of sabotaging my own relationships with um, my husband. Um, bringing it to the fact that I never thought I was worth anything, so I would accept anything. I would accept what was said to me. I was would accept or receive poisonous information because I was wounded. And being wounded about your body, the receptacle that was given to you as a blessing on this earth... You can never imagine being stuck um, 
not knowing who you are, but being who you are, and you're not accepting it. So it was just so such a back and forth motion for me um, in my head all the time. And while it being in my head, it also reflected in my outer appearance, my outer garment wearing, my, my outer transition. A few um, months ago, I visited someone and I remember them asking me to have something to eat and immediately I associated that eating with my uh, perpetration upon me because I was always given food as a as a soother to soothe me or to correct the bad action that was given to me and I had to go in my head and say this person does not mean me any harm I can eat you know and I did accept the food I did you know choose what I wanted to eat but I had to readdress my thoughts and it happens so much more than we realize or that we want to admit sometimes or sometimes we stuff ourselves so very much with food to distort the image of what we really were. So we end up to be, you know, either larger or different, or we scale down to become something that's not because we're so uncomfortable in our bodies. Our bodies are the connectors to relationships in this world. And when that body is invaded, poisoned too early or without our consent, it does something to our brain, it does something to our self-worth, and it does something to our self-talk. Our self-talk is no longer the same. See, when we enter this world, we're... A blank slate we're full of ambition full of curiosity full of moving forward absorbing whatever beauty there is we have no idea of evil we have no idea of bad thoughts we have no idea of pain just beauty we recognize the beauty all over this world and no matter what we look at, our eyes, our receptacles are just taking in the grandeur of the beauty that God has given or has granted us or the higher power has given. And when those things are affected at an early age that we don't understand, it changes every view that we have from that point on. So how do we change that? How do we change making our size our worth. So if I'm a size six, I am making my, my size or I am comparing myself to the next person always and forever. I am never satisfied and I will always be second guessing or going back and forth, back and forth in my mind about a lot of things. It's a constant battle against food, against my body, against my thoughts. And we have experienced this and we will continue to experience it. But one thing is for sure, we will realize it. We will redirect it. We will reprogram. And we will start to begin to love who we are. At this place in my life right now, I am a thriving survivor, but more so I am recovering. And recovery means that I'm reprogramming everything that I've ever was told, ever realized, and ever that I, that I myself have talked to myself about. <laughs>